may love you till they ride or die, but have a problem in that area, in that one area, if not more than others, mm-hmm. with self-control in that area. And you may be somebody that brings them down to earth, but doesn't solve the problem all, all the way. Yeah. Is is that still is that still someone that you just don't care to deal with? Do you I just can't. It, it's cheating is che- cheating to me, like I was saying, the effects of cheating is what is so hard, like hurtful, you know, because the effects of cheating of is I, I now I lack trust. Now I lack faith in another individual. Now I blah, blah, blah. I'm insecure. Whatever, whatever the hell I feel from your cheating, because you can't make me feel anything, but whatever I feel from the cheating, that is, that's the that's the heavy part of cheating. So, you going so, out and so, so so if he's a uh, if it's an ugly chick, you wouldn't wear, wear about it. No, if, if she is ugly, if she looks better have. than me, if I don't give a shit, it, if so you're cheating, say, cheating, it's cheating. You toxic. Cheating for, you cheating toxic. for me would be considered toxic, maybe. Because, I mean, I yeah, it would be considered. It it I'm, I'm not coming back. No, it is. I'm not coming back from cheating. I can love you. I can forgive you. So it may. I, Cheating hurts, fentanyl. So, <laughs> cheating hurts. Cheating is not for me. Fentanyl, nigga. Um, you ever had that fentanyl? So, nope, not me. No, no thank you. So, um, before we get to the comments, because they're okay. coming in crazy. Um, um, matter of fact, let, no, let's just go ahead. Let's go ahead to the comments. Uh-oh. Are they coming for me? Or are they coming for... Uh, let's, <laughs> see. <laughs> let's see. Uh Thank you, D. I don't want I, I don't want to do a lot of things, but I do have a choice. So I have to be strong. Then if, if I so if I have to be strong, then so be it. Excuse me for reading that wrong, Miss Chris. My bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, back to Miss Chris again. People throw uh, throw around the word toxic. Exactly. People throw around the word communicate. Exactly. They say they know how to communicate, but really don't. When they meet somebody. They know uh, that knows how to communicate. I don't understand where you're going with that. Then it, it messes things up. See, I think the thing about it is a lot of people know how to communicate. People don't know how to communicate effectively. It's it's not the part of like when you meet somebody, you know, you, you know, meet and they don't know how to communicate. Some people, there's really some people that just shut down and don't talk to you at all and don't yeah. communicate at all. So there is that type of people, Miss Chris, and I don't, I totally understand what you're trying to get to, but. What if both parties know how to communicate, but neither part, party is communicating effectively? There mm-hmm. then lies the problem. Then it takes one person. Then then you need a mediator. Then you need a judge. And then you need these people. Hey, my sister said, oh, my brother said, because one of you guys are, if not both, are not communicating effectively. And Cardo, uh, that's a lack of respect for your partner. What, cheating? Cheating is the lack of respect? Um, sure. I, I, I guess I can agree with that to an extent. Just the word, word cheating alone is a negative word. Uh, so is liquor, but you know, everybody drinks it. Um, Jazz Salguero, D, you are so correct. The effect from cheating. And you know what? I, I, I like the, oh, keep, keep it wrong. Uh, Lee Daniel, Vinny, wrong, uh, wrong there will be wrong. There will be times when I can't explain, and you better do, and you and you better do because I said so. Not really sure what you were trying to say there. Oh, like, he was talking about. Uh, I think that was like the the leading the leadership thing, maybe. Okay, right. We are in a relationship, not dead. We uh, we want. Oh, to we're gonna look. look. I think we want to look too. To look too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Women are one that one one wants to look too. I think when it comes down to cheating, men and women have cheating on two different standpoints and two different understands understanding of cheating. First of all, women came from a background in history of not being able to cheat 
and just being in the relationship and being tied down and having to deal with Bullshit, me. man. I look, man, look, look. I right, check this out. Bullshit. Facts, women been women been cheating from day one, nigga. Just like man, nigga, it's been day one. I guess so. Like, you talking about Eve. Nigga, <laughs> if you look at statistics, women hey, men cheat at a 28% rate in relationships. Women cheat at a 24% rate in relationships. You know what really? I mean? Yes, you can go look I'm, it up. I'm talking about facts. the nitty gritty, though. Fun facts. You know what I mean? I'm just <laughs> fun facts. You know what I mean?